So basically, to begin with, I'm sure you've asked, you've been answered, answered this question before a number of times, but just I'd love to hear more like the story of how you guys got the show going. I know I read on Wikipedia that, you know, there was the beer can and you opened it in her face. But like, can you tell us that how like this whole thing got started? Yeah, well, I mean, we grew up kind of watching Jackass. We've always been fans of that. And we've been pranking each other since high school, since we met each other. And then, um, ran you know, we would always prank each other for fun. And randomly, I decided to videotape a time where I pranked John. And um, then he videotaped the time he pranked me back. And we kind of put him on YouTube for safekeeping. Mm -hmm. we, we didn't even know that... Um, anybody could find your videos on YouTube. I just had a YouTube account for watching music videos. That's why my screen name is Nikita Banana 88. If I was planning on having a channel, it'd be like awesome pranks or something like right, that. Right, right. And um, yeah, we just, we kind of uploaded a couple videos there for safekeeping and we went away one weekend and we came back and all of a sudden we had 400,000 views. <laughs> We're like, what's going on here? Then like every hour it was updating by like a hundred thousand views more. That's so um, we had a video going viral and then people just started catching on and they asked us to make more and more videos. So we just kept it going and it's been a lot of fun. What was that first video that went viral for you? The Xbox smash video. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Xbox, <laughs> the Xbox with a golf club. Um, I'm crazy girlfriend smashes Xbox. Right. Okay. All right. That's Got the kind it. of one where I, I get a little nervous telling people about it. <laughs> well, <I've laughs> I mean, I got a lot of hate mail from angry 13 year olds. I did it to be <laughs> funny, but um, I got a lot of hate for that. But then luckily some people came and saw that it's just kind of what we do and started subscribing and became mm -hmm. a fan. That's so but cool. That's what kind of put us on the map. What's so fascinating yeah. is like how na how that happened so naturally for you guys. You didn't like force it. You weren't trying to do it. Just the content yeah, was so it good. Just happened to us completely out of the blue. And I mean, it's been pretty amazing. I mean, it's been a, like a gift. I mean, to us in our lives, and we've been extremely fortunate in all the success that we've had. But yeah, it's. I mean, it just you know it. You know, we would have if we were trying to like like you know grow. I guess our channel like you know now organically and try to build. We would have had you know like. Nikki and John outrageous pranks for you know our channel name or something like that, and you know we would have really built our solid foundation and social media around you know a certain username. But uh, yeah, it's, it was it all just kind of happened, and word by uh, word of mouth has been you know the most important thing. We to never us. paid a cent for advertising. Yeah, we've never paid like even like for like a dollar for advertising to anything. It's amazing. So it's amazing. It's been fantastic. That's so cool. Also, like I know you probably get this question too, but I still want to ask you. Basically, where do you guys get your ideas? I know you do the, you have suggestions, you, and you 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 talk about that in your interviews, or rather in your videos as well. But how are you guys constantly generating these these ideas? What's your process? For the, for the most part, they're our own original ideas. Um, both of us are pretty creative people, so we're just always thinking. Every time we see an item, we're tr we're thinking what we can do with it and how to make it funny. To um, some job. of our pranks are our own spin on classic prank ideas and then yeah we do have a place on our website where people can su suggest a prank to either me or to john and how often do you use the uh, suggested one then um occasionally i would say we've probably maybe done like a dozen suggested pranks so far we kind of like save all the suggested prank emails yeah. for a time when we may necessarily not have something to do or come up with you know an idea so we can and we have probably about 5,000 emails total so far over the last couple of years of people emailing us prank suggestions. So If we find a gem in there, we'll, we'll go out and do it. So and A lot of people, like one of the most suggested pranks I've gotten uh, was a saran wrap toilet. Right, I just prank. showed that to just... And I, like I said, you know, I, I think that's pretty gross. I wouldn't have actually ever done it, but then Nikki made me really angry, and that was, <laughs> yeah, I probably, I still get, you know, suggestions to do that to her again, like, at least, like, three or four times a week. <laughs> uh, so you kind of listen to your fans, you know, when they ask you to do something over and over and over and over again, mm -hmm. you kind of, you know, you listen to that, so. So, I mean, what, like you talked about earlier, I think one of the coolest things about your channel is that it comes across as totally authentic. Like, I don't, you don't, nobody gets this. I think if you guys, if it seemed like you were acting or if it was like made up, that it wouldn't be as cool, right? 
So how? Yeah. So I mean, you better well, go ahead. Oh yeah. no, I was just saying, yeah, I, especially with pranking, there's no point to act a prank. It would just be stupid and nobody would want to watch. Right. If you take the element of surprise out, the video is no good. Yeah, yeah. So so basically, how do you guys like manage that in your lives? Do you like live in fear of one another? Like of one, <laughs> That's another question we get a lot. Yeah. Um, I sometimes sometimes we do like sometimes we'll send some things up and we'll get kind of paranoid we've definitely had um some prank fails in our day like i walked in on john filming his intro like saying he was about to go do something to me and then i opened the door and i'm like i heard you no you're not <laughs> and um so there's that but uh yes we prank each other a lot but most of the time we're a happy normal couple <laughs> it's just sometimes we prank each other i definitely think we're we're goofy and we like to have fun a lot but we do love each other so we do let our guard down sometimes <laughs> so i guess yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a factor of just making sure you're natural enough that like you can somehow sneak up on each other and catch each other with that well and that's the the thing about living with with your significant other you kind of oh figure out their routines, yeah, yeah. know what they're going to do, how they go about each and every single day, and you can use that to your advantage. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, some of your their best ones are so elaborate and so creative. Like your one, when you, I had, I told my whole family about this, like where you uh, took all the, you, the water bed and you, you made it into basically a pool, right? Yeah. That was so confusing. Yeah. <laughs> I was so confused after that. Like I sat down in the bed, like I wasn't expecting that at all. And I'm like, oh my gosh what the heck just <laughs> happened i just went flop and then i kind of like stand up in the bed because i'm trying to think okay what's the best way to get out of this situation <laughs> without getting the entire room wet and then eventually i decided there really wasn't a best way <laughs> well that's yeah, why it's so good. good it was so good because it was so creative so it comes back to what you were saying like knowing each other's routines and knowing how to surprise each other right yeah mm -hmm. and we have like well, yeah we do make like the money, we make enough money off YouTube to support our pranks and everything that we do. So mm -hmm. it's like as time has progressed and our channel has gotten bigger and bigger, it's you know we have a little bit more financial uh, leeway with our pranks and stuff. So you can yeah. buy a, a little bit of a budget things, uh, <laughs> with your prank, like money for pranks such as like a pool, you know, and doing all that stuff. But cool. yeah, I rented a chainsaw for like a eighty bucks once, and I tried to prank Nikki with it, but I it had a carburetor on it, and I didn't warm it up, so uh, it died when I tried to prank her. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It was, so that was a great prank fail. That was kind of expensive. So l let me ask you then about like your equipment and like where, what kind of cameras do you use for that? I always wonder when I see the camera, like how long you leave the camera there waiting for the, the prank to happen. Uh, yeah, it's, we do run AC power through our cameras most of the time to get that, you know, like sometimes because we put cameras in places for like six or seven hours, you know. Right. Uh, but we have a, a, do you just want to grab the Sony? We have like it's just a small We're just recording the Sony interview from over HD. here. Okay. Handy cam. We also have two flips um, that we'll use. Uh, and, I mean, it's simple. That's that's it. Do you basically <laughs> stick the flip to the wall? Is that what you do? Uh, yeah, we got a, like, a couple okay. different little tiny tripods that you can like set up on, you know, behind stuff and kind of hide them. Mm -hmm. But it, it's fairly simple to seal a camera uh -huh. in, anywhere, you know. So yeah, you'd be you'd be really surprised how easy it is to hide a camera when you're not looking for it. <laughs> like you can just set a camera on a bookshelf, and if you're just going about your day, boom, something happens to you. That's awesome. That's exactly how it happens. Um, so because this is a social media class, I want to ask you like you already said that you don't do any type of advertising and the whole thing built virally. But like basically, my question is, I mean, what do you guys do to sort of perpetuate this tremendous popularity? Like, are you is it Facebook? Is it all YouTube? Like, what's yes. your technique? Uh, social networking is very, very important. So um, we promotion. do self-promotion and huge. interacting with your fans. You should um, input, like, respond back to people, um, reply back to people. So yes, we have a Facebook fan page, a Twitter account. Um, now we're on Google Plus. We're hearing Google Plus is going to be the new big thing. We were just at a uh, Google meeting at Google headquarters, and they were telling us about Google Plus and it's good, how it's going to be linked to YouTube, etc. So um, it is very, very important to have other ways for people to find you. Hmm. Yeah, and it's and it's not it's it's also like linking you know your Twitter and your Facebook and your YouTube together. So when you do post a video on YouTube, 
you know, post directly to your Facebook page and your Twitter so you can kind of, you know, minimize the amount of work that you actually have to do. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, and then just, you know, being creative <laughs> with the way that you, you know, want to advertise yourself to the world. You know, we're, we're pretty outgoing people. You, we're, you know, we're creative, we're entertaining. So we have a vlog channel, I have a game channel. Um, we both have independent vlog channels where we, you know, like our own separate channels. Um, we use all of that, you know, to promote and I guess distribute, syndicate kind of what we do through all of our other channels. So we have five channels that we can send, you know, one video out to, you know, mm. 200,000 people here, 20,000 people there, 20,000 people there, and you know, 10 or 15,000 more people just on our individual vlog channels.